Hello everyone, this is Robert here with a Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. Today I want to cover this new app that I found called TagsDoc. This allows you to add those hashtags easy from your keyboard. So you can see right here under the app description, this is what you're going to get. When you open up the keyboard and hit the little globe, you're going to get this little uh, thing here that shows you a bunch of categories of your different tags. And you can look through those separate categories and you can tag stuff there. So right here you can see here's a lot of tags here for this category for an example that they're showing here. And you can see a lot of different things here. Add favorite tags quickly, get quick access. And you can look through here and see you and see people that you're following as well. This gives you the description. This shows you that it has last updated in August as well. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and show you the app itself. And then we'll go in there and I'll show you how to apply this once you've installed it. So here's the app itself. And then this tells you right here in the description, adding the keyboard, using the keyboard, and then adding your favorites. So going to my favorites here, I'll show you kind of what I have. If I want to add a favorite, hit the plus button. I create the title and I create the hashtag, whatever the hashtag is. So I'll show you an example. We'll go into my hashtags here. I created one for Apple. So you can see I've got my hashtags for Apple in here already. I created one for iPhone. So I've got all the stuff for the iPhone in there I can tag. I even created one for myself, for my YouTube channel. So you guys can see that when they click on that, it's going to look for everything that has my name on it with the hashtag, whether it's through Instagram, Twitter, or so forth. It doesn't matter. And you can do that for everything else. I did that here for my YouTube, uh, Mac, and so forth. I've got a whole bunch of different ones. And I can create as many as I want. So then if I go into settings, now you can, you can look in here. You can see the facts. You can the, tell you the facts, what it can do, what it can't do. You can contact them, rate them. You can invite friends, uh, and so forth. You can enable via at their tag itself. All right. So that's, how, that's what the app does. That's basically what it does for you. Now. You want to add this, you're going to go into your settings. We're going to go down here. We're going to go to general. We're going to scroll down here and you're going to have this thing called keyboard. Go into keyboard. Now you look on top and see keyboard and you see I have three. So if I click on keyboard, you can see that you can add new keyboards in here. So if I want to go into add new keyboard, now you see tags doc. I'm going to tap on it. There's tags doc. It's in my keyboard now. All right, if I click on here, you're going to want to make sure it says allow full access. All right, and that's it. Once you've added it, you're done. Now, let's go in here and we're going to go under a search. And I'm going to tap here. Now, on the bottom, you have a little globe. Tap on that globe, it's going to switch you to your next keyboard. Okay, tap on the letters, it's going to switch you to another keyboard. Tap on the globe again. There you go. There's my tags doc. Okay. Hit my favorites. Here's my favorites. There's my favorite that I want. And if I tap that, it automatically populates it. And there you go. There's your hashtag. And that's how you can access it. Another way you can do it is that you can hold down the globe here and it'll give you a choice of which ones you want. Scroll up to it and there you go. There's your tags doc. And that's how you get it. So as long as you allow full access, you have use of tags doc wherever you want. Like I said, it's a very nice app. I like it. I like the way it works. It's very quick, very simple to get all your hashtags in where you want them. And that's the best part. All right. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Give me any comments, any questions you guys have. And if it's your first time here, I'd love for you guys to go ahead and subscribe. Once you subscribe, you get all my new videos as they come out. And I'll also uh, put you on my email list so you get all my personal recommendations. So don't forget to click on that Patreon link below and you'll be on my private email list. You'll get personal one-on-one -on -one tutorials and help whenever you guys need it. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys later with more videos.